Hello guys. How are you all doing? I hope you are all good. I would like to extend my thanks to all who supported especially on Kofi donations. Most of you who sent donations are supporters for Swallowed Star. I really appreciate all of you. I am grateful that you guys keep supporting my channel. I have been very busy and updating daily for the channel as well so I can't thank one by one. You all know who you are. So thank you very 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 much, please subscribe to my channel, audio novels, see playlist for other chapters and novels, I do not translate the novels, credits goes to original translator and author of the novel, I only make it as an audio book so it would be easier to just listen while doing other things, credits goes to the author of the novel, I convert stories to audio book for mental health, for multitasking purpose for accessibility and time saving. Listening to audiobook is also beneficial for people who have disability. It improves our listening skills and improve our English comprehension, vocabulary and other things. So, thank you for listening. Thank you and thank you very much for your support. Chapter 901 Silhouette of a Whip Those who were able to rush over immediately were definitely the strongest of the human camp warriors in Twin Whirlpools. Tens of teams plus the initial three, a total of close to 90 warriors were present, amongst which, there were over 30 pinnacle soul masters and emperor limits. Blade River is retired, he he, I heard his body is about emperor pinnacle strength yet he's able to kill so many powerful warriors, he must have some true treasures, right, back then he forced blood beast away, killed purple clock and forced heavy arrow into a coma and then turned him into a slave, he relied on the strongest flame god crystal, however, he wasn't even harmed by it, I don't believe that he has some powerful defensive treasures, and recently he massacred so many, it seems like his strength must have grown further, and also he must have some new treasures. Attention all, the other race team has already been forced away by Blade River. Ten Chen has been saved by Blade River already. That other race team was said to have several Emperor limits and two true treasures, yet they were forced away by Blade River. This Blade River dot is too strong, he must have more than one true treasure. Close to 90 warriors of the human camp floated about all staring at the silver armored and winged youth. Luo Feng gazed around. Even though they were all from the human camp, there was only one true human amongst them. The rest were from other races. Charmang Emperor, you wouldn't think of making a move on me too would you? Luo Feng looked straight at the human. As Blade River, he had gotten to know many emperors within the Hong Alliance, and this was one he was an acquaintance with. Of course not. I only came here because Tan Chen was in trouble. I came to deal with the other race team, why would I attack someone of the same race? He stood among the many warriors and looked around, his voice booming like thunder, spreading far and wide. Blade River is a human warrior, even though he's retired, he is still human. About one third of you here are from the Hong Alliance, are you all going to attack a human warrior? No, we won't interfere in this. We came here for the other race team. We won't interfere. Many Hong Alliance members immediately said, since they were from the Hong Alliance, they couldn't escape the rules of the Alliance. Humans were the core of the entire Alliance. Their warrior Blade River definitely had some background. If he were to be killed by one of them, dot his friends, teachers, etc., would all come take revenge for him. It would be too easy to find them all. Looks like they haven't gone mad, Luo Feng thought. While these warriors may be greedy within, with so many spectators about. Dot, there were many more problems to think about. HMPH. The Hong Alliance may not interfere, but I'm not a member, Snowhorn said coldly. He he, they can stand by and watch. Since he's retired, he's not protected by the army system. Hence, he has no relation to us. The many other warriors stared hard at Luo Feng. The vast number of other races in the universe used humanity to enter the outer region wars. The Hong Alliance was but a small portion of the human camp, but many others weren't part of it. While they may have some relation with humanity now, once they retired, they would return to their homes and have no connections to humanity. Hence, 
they didn't care about all this. Luo Feng kept Ji Hong in his world ring and stared coldly at everything. He had kept him outside initially with the plans of forcefully breaking through. Now however with so many emperors around, it was impossible to do so. It was better to be alone. More are coming. Snowhorn gazed. Attention all, if we keep standing around. More would come to take the treasure. Attack. Kill. Tens of warriors all moved simultaneously. Since they were all from the same camp, they were not worried about being attacked by others after getting the treasure. Hence more than half of the group attacked. Very good. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. H. -M -P -H. He flapped his silver wings and unleashed strike travel. His beast god presence was incredibly high now, and his movement was even faster than before. The tens of warriors could only watch as the silver light arced around them and easily dodged all the attacks. Rumble. With so many attacks, the surrounding space was torn apart as the fragments flew madly about, this affected the other warriors greatly. However with the fragments, it allowed Liuo Feng to be like a fish in water, unaffected at all as his speed left them all stunned. The Hong Alliance members including Charmang Emperor, along with few that didn't participate all watched on shocked. Blade River's instantaneous speed is absurd. With so many space fragments, he can actually change directions thousands to tens of thousands of times, his speed is incredible. Tens of warriors attacking him and none even got close. Too strong. With such terrifying speed, this Blade River can go anywhere in the vast universe. The spectating warriors all realized how terrifying he was. With such instantaneous speed, his survival ability was crazy. If not for the space lockdown, he could teleport away immediately. With it there, he could still move that fast, and under the gazes of countless warriors, he would still be able to get away. In all, his survival ability was heavenly. Unless one had a true treasure like the ice net or something, or special spirit weapon attacks, or soul illusions to affect him. They had to find a way to control his speed to deal with him, otherwise it was almost impossible. You want to affect me with these little soul attacks? Luo Feng was like a god howling, his voice booming in all the attackers minds. I can get away easily enough. However dot snow horn. You are detestable. Shwa. A silver light flashed and he was already beside Snow Horn. How can he be that fast? We have so many warriors and yet, we cannot hold him down. Snow Horn's eyes were blinded by a light as he found himself staring straight at Liu Feng's cold eyes behind the silver helmet. He instantly understood, he wants to kill me. Hwa. The six purple lit black balls appeared from Liu Feng's left hand. They were all sealed stars coated in the FMO poison and imprinted with the beast god descends sky tearing claw. With a trigger of his powerful consciousness, a blurry projection of the beast god appeared. Howl. The right claw had the six sealed stars within, tearing downwards. Break. Snowhorn had a huge turtle shell beast image appear behind him, and two blades appeared in his arms which became a huge scissor-like weapon. The huge right claw clashed with the scissors. The surrounding space fragments were instantly hit by the shock waves and reduced to stream particles. The six sealed stars within the right claw were incredibly interrupted. Every little black ball far exceeded the power of a star. Kacha, kacha. The scissors crumbled as the claw slashed through Snowhorn, who had no way to escape. Rumble. His god body instantly crumbled. In terms of strength, he was indeed an emperor limit. Luo Feng's current consciousness and spirit energy, with the general soul's help along with the powerful beast god presence was only at the pinnacle emperor level. A pinnacle emperor with the help of true treasures could normally match an emperor limit, and even kill an emperor limit, like purple clock emperor. Luo Feng relied on the star map, and he completely suppressed this emperor limit. What six purple lit black balls pierced through the gathering fragments of snow horn. Every black ball was able to destroy about 5% of his god body, with six of them, that was about 30%. Trying to kill me without burning your undying energy, you must be dream. No. His body was just reforming as his eyes were suddenly filled with shock. He felt a special corrosive attack on his god body as it reformed, 
instantly destroying 35% of his god body. Whap the six balls turned in the distance and once again became a howling beast god, its right claw descending once again. Die. Liu Feng looked on coldly. Blade River Emperor. A cold voice suddenly rushed into Liu Feng's mind. A powerful attack flew over from far. A over 300 meters tall black lightning hammer tore through the air. Its speed was terrifying as the broken space fragments were simply knocked aside, peng, 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 the fragments were all reduced to stream particles as the black hammer caused Liu Feng's expression to change, even with the Xiaowu wings I won't be able to dodge this, go, he waved his left hand, eight black balls swiftly flew over, and they were all infused with the laws within, forming a huge beast god projection in midair, compared to the sky tearing claw beast that got formed before, this one was obviously much more condensed and real. The eight balls formed a beast god with a long tail which was a few hundred meters long. It swung like a whip forwards. Howl. The beast god howled as its tail whipped at the lightning hammer. Beast god armament second form. Whip. The beast god armament had a total of six forms. The first was beast god descends while the second was whip, this was the strongest move he could use after comprehending the Nanshan Seven Forms second volume, a blurry whip silhouette, and a majestic black lightning hammer, they clashed directly, the eight sealed stars clashed hard with the hammer, rumble, the tail whip instantly crumbled from the force, the eight sealed stars were knocked away too, after which they flew back to Liu Feng's hands and landed in his left palm, this made him frown, the thunder hammer was knocked far away too, it shrank until it was only about 30 plus meters, landing in the 20 meters tall black armor giant with three horns on his forehead, he stared at Liuo Feng too, blade river, a voice boomed, silver winged Liuo Feng immediately stood straight up and gazed into the distance, black tea emperor, his voice resounding about, chapter 902, Liuo Feng vs Black T. When the sealed star fell before, Black T didn't participate, but this didn't affect his reputation in any way. The four camps in the outer region wars all had terrifying beings, like Life Fall, Da Long, Nanjing, Seven Blade, and so on. They were all renowned figures. Black T was one that could match them as well. Even though he was from the human camp, he was from a distant universe region and not from the Hong Alliance. He had a true treasure hammer named Black Tea, hence his name. It's Black Tea. He's actually here, and he is so fast. Blade River is in trouble, but Black Tea's terrifying strength. Back then when he had fought with Da Long for quite a while, both of them decided that it was best to call a truce finally. Within the entire seventh battlefield, Black Tea is definitely one of the pinnacle beings. Blade River is disadvantaged. If Black T is here, Blade River's treasure isn't for us to take. Do you think you could ever get Blade River's treasure? With a flap of his wings, he'll easily leave you far behind. The distant other race warriors had all given up. They were clear that this level of being, even with seven emperor limits combining forces, they would all be easily knocked back by him. Hence, the other warriors simply stayed back and watched the two battle. Two silhouettes were floating in space with a distance between them. One was huge, while the other was tiny. However both energies made the others around them tremble. He seems quite strong. The tall and demonic Black T's voice boomed. To be able to receive my hammer, he must be quite strong. Since I entered the outer region wars, this is the first time I'm actually dealing with a level of warrior like that. It really makes my blood boil. Come on, let me see if your reputation is well deserved. Liu Feng stared intensely from the other end and said. Both sides filled with fighting spirit. Both of them were strong, battling with other strong warriors and pursuing the limits of the universe. This was Liu Feng's ambition. Good. I'll let you see if my name is real. Black T's voice boomed as he rushed forward instantly. Xu. He became a lightning bolt, and his speed was terrifying. If he had tossed out his hammer, that hammer dot had a speed so fast that it even shocked Liu Feng initially. However, his own speed wasn't something Liu Feng actually bothered with. With the Xiaowu wings, his own instantaneous speed far exceeded Black T's. Xu. Liu Feng flapped his wings and easily flew far away. Amidst the broken space fragments, 
his speed was demonic, easily dodging and changing directions, go, eight black balls floated in his left palm, the eight black balls immediately revolved in space, and the law engravings on them glowed with gold light, Luo Feng's terrifying willpower that exceeded even that of knights triggered the laws and instantly a few hundred meter long beast god formed. Howl the beast god howled, it was actually a spirit weapon taking on this form, and its speed was absurd, shwa, it appeared before black T and instantly whipped its tail at him, h -M -P -H. black T wielded his hammer and stepped forward, causing the large amount of space fragments to instantly become stream particles, he swung his hammer heavily, he had casually thrown it earlier, but this time he swung it with his full might, Wang, the beast god's tail actually recoiled and evaded the head-on clash with the hammer, whipping it back at Black T, so fast, Black T was shocked, he had used his full force to swing the hammer, hence, he was unable to bring it back on time to defend, with a howl, he used his left hand to punch, a dark red metal covered his hand, it seemed like a special punch, as it triggered the laws, causing the the space about to completely crumble into fragments, rumble, the punch clashed with the tail whip, black T's punch could easily smash through a star, however, he felt intense pain from this clash, good, he actually howled malevolently, getting even crazier, ha ha ha, black T, your hammer's speed seems slower than before, the distant Liu Feng controlled the beast god to once again attack, in midair, the beast god flashed time and again, as it flashed, its tail grew even more demonic, occasionally whipping, and at other times recoiling, it was extremely fast, and it made the enemy unable to trace it, after all, even for normal animals, their tail whip movement was extremely fast, the beast god was the same, rumble, 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 black T unleashed his strength, his swung his hammer against the beast god's tail over and over, every time it hit, it knocked the eight black balls far away, the only thing was that since Liu Feng was a spirit reader, even if the eight sealed stars were knocked away they could immediately gather and reform the beast god image, attacking once again, this was the difference between a spirit reader and fighter, the fighter couldn't back down, once his weapons were knocked away, his body would take the blow, a spirit reader however, even if his weapons were knocked away, as he would usually attack from afar, he could still reform his weapons and attack immediately, he actually blocked it over and over, Luo Feng was shocked as he controlled the eight sealed stars, his usage of the hammer has changed too, every attack has a revolving force, and with each attack, the force grows, even if I make the tail dodge the attack, he would still be able to defend, rumble, 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 the demonic black T howled as he rushed at Liu Feng with his hammer, every step was as fast as lightning, even with the beast god's tail whipping at him, he easily knocked it away with a swing, it was almost like a huge car rushing forward easily knocking away a bicycle, however this bicycle simply reformed over and over and attacked again, what power, Luo Feng's expression changed, feeling the difference between himself and Black T, the rest of them who were watching this battle felt the same way, that toss earlier, I could still withstand it, probably because he didn't use too much force initially, now that he's serious, each blow is like a huge mountain crashing down, even my eight sealed stars are knocked away easily, even with the eight sealed stars, I'm still losing, I can only barely affect his speed, the bicycle may have been knocked away over and over again, however it still managed to slightly affect the car's speed, I'm not his match, if I go all out and let Fushui use his ice net on him, there would still be a chance, however he hasn't even burnt his undying body, it's obvious he doesn't wish to go all out with me, Luo Feng thought, since we've already tested each other's strength, it's time to go, however before that, his gaze turned to Snow Horn Emperor, he couldn't forget the one that was most passionate about killing him, I'll deal with him first, the surrounding number of warriors kept growing, they all formed their own little teams and floated about, gazing from a distance at the fight, Black T was intrepid and powerful, even with Blade River's full attacks, he easily knocked them away, however, Blade River remained far away and Black T had no way to get close, even if he rushed forward, 
Blade River could easily get away. Even though Blade River can easily deal with an Emperor limit, he still isn't a match for Black T. Black T's strength is heavenly. Even though his strength surpasses Blade River, but his speed cannot even touch him. Their warriors around could all see this. Ha ha ha. Black T sure is powerful. Much respect. But I'll be leaving first. His voice was filled with spirit energy which resounded throughout the space. Shua Luo Feng flapped his wings and formed a silver flash, with one flash, he once again reached Snow Horn Emperor. You Snow Horn who was with his teammates changed his expression. Do you think you can take my treasures? You sure don't know your place. Six purple lit black balls formed a beast god projection and howled as it rushed at Snow Horn. His teammates all actually dodged. Having seen his power, None of them dared to offend Blade River. Tear. The right claw tore Snow Horn apart as the six balls instantly pierced through, destroying over 30% of his god body. Blade River. I will have my revenge. He howled in anger as he instantly self-destructed. He knew that he wasn't a match for Blade River, but he was still an Emperor Limit. It was definite that he would be revived in the future. However, if he was forced into a coma and taken away, then he would have no hope left for revival. Rumble. The force of the shockwave rippled in all directions. An explosion with only 30% of his undying body left was something the Emperor Limits could withstand against together. Only a few Pinnacle Emperors were heavily injured, but no one fell. Just like that, Snowhorn fell. Ksu. With so many warriors watching him, Blade River left just as he said. Before he left, he even killed an Emperor Limit Snowhorn Emperor and the speed he displayed as he left dot made all the warriors around shake their heads and sigh. Even Black T, only when he tossed his hammer could he catch up to him, but he was clear too, that when he tossed his hammer, Luo Feng would immediately use the beast god projection to defend. It wouldn't even affect his fleeing. In an instant, Blade River flew out of the space lockdown area and with a teleport, he vanished from sight. What power, what speed. Black T's voice boomed. He sighed before he became a beam of light and vanished. Chapter 903, The Legend of Blade River Emperor The broken space fragments began to recover, and the continent that had been floating within the whirlpools for so long had been completely pierced through, revealing a huge hole with a diameter of hundreds of thousands of km. Hundreds of warriors floated there still stunned at the scene that just took place. Suddenly, a powerful energy appeared in mid-air. An armored metal person glowing with black light appeared, and his formless pressure spread out, causing the hundreds of human warriors to grow silent. It's Life Fall Emperor. It's the Automaton Life Fall Emperor. He's from the Automaton race. How'd he get here so fast? Haven't you heard that he gave out a bounty for Blade River's location? There were definitely some from the human camp that revealed the location earlier, allowing him to rush over. Almost all of the human warriors were emperors. However, there were many low and high emperors around. Against the powerful life fall, they didn't dare challenge him. Life fall stood in space, gazing about, he roared. Where's Blade River? Life fall. Their warriors of the human camp may not dare challenge him, but that didn't mean they feared him. A warrior the size of a small mountain spoke. Blade River had just battled Black T and left right after. Along the way he even killed Snowhorn Emperor. He should have teleported via God Country far away by now. He fought Black T. Life fall looked at the warrior. Their warrior boomed. You can see for yourself, Shwa. A light projection appeared in midair, producing a 3D image. This was something that Earth had even back in the base era. However the universe technology was obviously more advanced, as it was 100% simulation of the battle between Blade River and Black Tea that replayed before them. Life all watched on right until the end. Him and Black Tea both belonged to the pinnacle of beings in the outer region wars. At their level. They could see wonders and little things within the battles. Without a doubt. This battle was but a test from both sides. Unless they truly wanted to go all out, no one would actually burn their undying bodies. Black T and Blade River both didn't. Black T only used his most basic methods. His god hammer. Life all muttered. He only used one of the three techniques. And Blade River. I heard he's most proficient in blade work. 
yet he used a spirit weapon this time, and he has heavy arrow as his slave. The report even said that Tan Chen and Ji Hong followed behind him. Tan Chen was saved by him, while Ji Hong is from another camp, for him to be so respectful, he should be his slave too. Just how many slaves does he have? His speed is crazy. His defense was renowned before, and now he even revealed a spirit weapon. Life all felt like this blade river was truly mysterious, with so many trump cards. Just the fact that he didn't even let his slaves attack showed his own confidence. The many human warriors all looked at life fall, observing his reactions. When he finished viewing the battle, he was silent for a while before saying, Blade River is worthy of his name and even if he has true treasures, he deserves them. After which, he teleported away. Life fall had left. However those words made the hundreds of warriors there shocked. Life Fall has recognized Blade River's strength. He recognizes that Blade River is worthy of his treasures. What a pity, looks like it'll be hard to see the both of them ever clash. Since Life Fall says so, no one will go after Blade River anymore. This fight dot has let Blade River prove his strength. The many warriors sighed. The circle of warriors was as such that only the strong were worthy of true treasures. The weak would have to be careful not to reveal their treasures. If not, they would be attacked. And life fall. Even Seven Blade, which one of these beings didn't have many treasures. Seven Blade, his seven blades alone were true treasures, along with the many others he had. Black Tea and Life Fall were similar. Everyone in the outer region wars knew about their treasures yet no one ever attacked them for the treasures. This was strength. And this fight dot with Blade River facing off against Black T, that was proof of his strength. It proved that he had that level of strength too. Maybe he was still weaker than Black T, but his speed and terrifying defense dot made him as hard to deal with as the others. This fight thus began to spread the legend of Blade River throughout the outer region wars. Countless warriors began to compare Blade River with Black T, Black Tomb, Seven Blade, Da Long etc. In their eyes dot he may be slightly weaker than the others, but his speed would leave many in despair. I'd rather meet Seven Blade and Life Fall than meet Blade River. There's still a chance of fleeing against the others. However against Blade River with space locked down who can outmatch him in speed. We won't be able to escape. Be careful to not mess with Blade River. Over 6000 years ago, he could already withstand the blast of the strongest flame god crystal. But, right now he's even stronger, it's absurd. His defense is strong and his speed is crazy, it's better to avoid him. The legend of Blade River thus spread far and wide amongst the many warriors in the universe making him a renowned being in the universe. Luo Feng however had already left twin whirlpools after that fight, teleporting straight to humanity. Virtual Universe Company Base Luo Feng took on the form of his Sector Lord self, sitting in the Virtual Universe Company ship and headed straight to the Primal Region Primal Chaos City. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, the Emperor undying in charge of the ship said respectfully. Luo Feng just smiled and nodded as he found a single cabin to rest in. Captain, is there a need to be that courteous with him? He's only a sector lord, with your strength as a high emperor, you can kill him with a wave of your hand. An undying member of the ship said. Beside him, the other members were all discussing. That's right. He just got lucky and became the disciple of the city leader, if not for that, he's only a sector lord, why bother? This trip was specially organized just for him, if it were normal sector lords, they'd have to wait till the numbers had tallied before we'd take off. The captain laughed, even though he's only a sector lord and I can easily kill him, he is still the disciple of the city leader. We can say this secretly but never ever say it out loud. If he chose to pursue the matter, no one can protect you all. We understand. Relax captain, we are not stupid. We are just saying, I just cannot stand his behavior, as if we are supposed to be respectful of him. The undying member said unhappily. The captain shook his head. It was normal to feel unjust as he felt that way too, but he still had to maintain absolute respect. If he wanted to climb up the ranks of the virtual universe company, if his strength was insufficient, he couldn't offend anybody, and a being like Liu Feng was one he definitely couldn't offend. HMPH, 
The glory of the old days has passed, it's been close to 10,000 years after he became the disciple of the city leader, yet I've never heard of him having any achievements. He's probably been forgotten by many, the captain thought. The ship flew to a stop in the air above the city. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, with the captain leading. The members all sent off Liuo Feng respectfully. Liuo Feng gazed at the primal chaos energy that engulfed the ancient city below. Ever since he became the disciple of the city leader, he had gotten the rights to be a permanent resident here. Actually, even with his level on the heavenly bridge alone, he already had that right. Primal Chaos City, True Yan's residence. Liuo Feng rushed into the residence seeing some disciples in name along with other true disciples. Senior. Senior Liuo Feng. Many disciples within shouted passionately at him. Liuo Feng asked them to find out where Tru Yan's current living quarters was. After a while, he rushed into a yard and stopped suddenly. I've heard you from far away, why aren't you coming in? Tru Yan's voice resounded from the yard. Liuo Feng smiled and entered the door. Tru Yan sat there, with a wave the doors shut. Have you come with nothing to see me? Tru Yan sat there and looked at Liuo Feng, seemingly cold and indifferent. Liuo Feng however smiled and with a flip of his hand, brandished a red wine bottle. This was about the size of a palm, and was peculiarly shaped, almost like an orangutan shape, with complex engravings carved on its surface and it glowed with fire or energies. Liuo Feng placed this bottle on his teacher's table. According to what you said, I have to bring wine to visit you. Liuo Feng said seriously, I wonder if this satisfies you. Very satisfied. True Yan stared wide-eyed at this burning wine bottle. After careful observation, he extended his furry hand to touch it, nodding, indeed, this is it, damn, only those with huge amounts of wealth in humanity can afford this, and even so, this would take an emperor limit's entire wealth. There's extremely few such wine amongst humanity, I've only tried one glass before, I didn't expect. Hee <laughs> hee, True Yan immediately smiled happily. My good disciple, the powerful Blade River Emperor, looks like your rewards from the outer region wars have been huge. Hee <laughs> hee, Liuo Feng smiled. It was huge indeed. Chapter 904 Primal Sky Mountain. The biggest reward of course was still the life or death inheritance from Star Tower, the Star Map and Pearl Tower. After over 6,000 years of torture, his willpower had evolved greatly, and his beast god presence had reached another level too. In terms of wealth, during that one month of massacre in Star Tower with over 40 battles, everyone got several billions worth of wealth, occasionally more in all. How much was that? Even though while massacring, he would only occasionally activate the virtual universe synchronized broadcast to accumulate contribution points. He didn't declare more than half of them. Even so, the number of points he got was still shocking. The amount of wealth he could exchange from that may not be as much as the massacre, but it was still very high. If the rewards weren't big, I wouldn't have been able to afford this purple flame ape wine. Liuo Feng said, after I retired, I discovered there was this one bottle within the army system. I was shocked that they actually had it. I immediately thought of you and bought it without any hesitation. Ha ha. True. Yan couldn't help but laugh out loud. He rubbed the bottle in his hands, as he was extremely happy. The purple flame ape wine was something only a special life form of the universe, the purple flame ape could produce. Even though it had the name ape, in truth the human and ape race had no relation to it. In fact, it was produced by the universe as a ball of purple flames that was somewhat resembled an ape. It was actually a mysterious flame, with powerful energies. There were over 10,000 purple flame apes in the universe. However over the years, their numbers only dropped without ever going up. However, the years also resulted in several super beings, plus with their special living environment, like some terrifying flame regions that even knights didn't dare enter. The knights would instantly be reduced to ashes within. However, the flame apes weren't worried about this. They were in fact most renowned for their wine, hence naming it the purple flame ape wine. As for this wine, just its flavor alone made it a top class wine. Of course there were countless good wines in the universe, 
just the taste alone wouldn't give it such a high price. The first point of this wine was it was beneficial to the body and soul. Anyone who drank this would feel his or her comprehension of the fire laws grow. Their bodies would be more adept at the fire laws and thus become stronger with it. The second point was that it would definitely get one drunk. Even the strong ones, be it nights or more, as long as they didn't purposely wipe off the alcohol from within after finishing one cup they would naturally get drunk. Once they awake from it, they would feel all headaches and troubles vanish after. To the strong, they favor this point even more mainly because it was extremely hard for such beings to even get drunk. It took endless wealth to achieve this effect. Other than these two points, there were many other abilities. One cup could make a normal person evolve into a universe level warrior and drinking more would make him one with an extreme high level of understanding of the fire laws. Of course, no one would waste billions to hundreds of billions just to nurture a universe level warrior. Even an undying wasn't worth 1% of this one cup. For this wine, Liu Feng had spent 80 billion. Your luck was good, True Yan exclaimed. The army system has many treasures within, as they are provided by the countless races, and many of them aren't from the Hong Alliance. Many are from the distant regions of the universe, and the treasures they provide form the true treasure trove of the army. There are many of other races. Hence, occasionally there would be special treasures. Only thing is, they require contribution points to exchange for. Even if a powerful warrior discovered this bottle of wine, very few would actually exchange so much contribution points just for it. Hence, you got it, right? There was only this one in the trove. Luo Feng smiled. Even I cannot afford to drink too much of this. I'll drink a little at a time. True Yan's eyes gleamed peculiarly. I'll bring some good brothers over and make them drunk. Liu Feng couldn't help but laugh. What's your plans on this return? True Yan asked. I'm going to attempt the primal sky mountain first. Liu Feng said. After that I'll head out to explore some secret regions. Ah, relax teacher. I'll definitely head to those less dangerous ones. Not the renowned and risky ones. I know myself well. That's good. True Yan relaxed. Even so you still have to be careful. The secret regions will occasionally have dangers that exceed your imagination. They are after all special places. Their laws don't always follow the rest of the universe. I understand. Liu Feng nodded. I know your strength too. Blade River. True Yan laughed as he said this. The name Blade River had indeed caused quite a storm in the outer region wars. He was extremely renowned now, and even within the emperors of humanity, he was one of the top. Those stronger than Blade River are very few, other than True Yan and Heavenly Feather and the other invincible emperors that had lived for trillions of years. Other than that, there were none. In terms of the younger generation, only Seven Blade and Meng Sui Emperor and some others could compare. You have to keep your Blade River identity an absolute secret, True Yan emphasized. I dare to stay this here in Primal Chaos City because, I've blocked off all scans here, and this is the territory of the city leader. I understand. Liu Feng nodded. Head over to the Primal Sky Mountain. True Yan laughed. It's been a few thousand year. I often hear others discuss about how you haven't done anything. It's made many strong warriors unhappy, standing above others without strength, it's natural they are unhappy about it. When you finish the Sky Mountain, come drink with me. True Yan hugged the bottle of purple flame ape wine. Yes, I'll head over now. Luo Feng sat before him and closed his eyes connecting to the virtual universe. This puncture is straightforward. True Yan blinked. Virtual universe, sky mountain. The mountains beside stood taller than the other. When Liu Feng appeared, he flew towards the tallest of the three, the primal sky mountain. As he was a primal region member, he naturally could attempt it. At the foot of the majestic mountain, three silhouettes sat cross-legged, playing some unseen game. White ape. There's someone, someone is here. Quick, get up. The three silhouettes seemed rusty, as they stood up. The tall and sturdy bull man looked at Liu Feng, laughing immediately, so it's your majesty Liu Feng. Even though you are the disciple of the city leader, you are overconfident to attempt the sky mountain? You are only sector lord level. Bullhead, what are you saying? 
this is his majesty Liu Feng, what's there he cannot do? The ape man chimed in, your majesty, are you going to begin? The snake lady glanced at him, her gaze almost like water. Liu Feng laughed, this feels so familiar. Familiar? The three were stunned. I'm about to begin. Liu Feng smiled and a shield appeared in his hand, it was the beast god armament. Fighting in the virtual universe, his tower pearl, the Xiaowu wings, the star map, everything was naturally gone. Even things that boosted his power like the general armor and general soul were gone. All he had was his normal sector lord body that was similar to all the sector lord geniuses, but the only difference was his willpower and consciousness strength. Of course the beast god armament was something he chose. The one he had now definitely wasn't as good as the one in reality but it was enough for a sector lord to use. Come, the bull man waved his huge axe. Let's see your strength. The ape man's gaze shot out like lightning. Your majesty Liu Feng, I feel sorry for you. The snake lady's formless soul attack had already begun. Howl. A beast god projection appeared in midair. A huge beast god howled and rushed forward, tearing through the bullman stomping on the ape man and whipping its tail at the snake lady. The battle ended instantly. He had passed the foot of the mountain. This part sure was easy. He stepped forward. He had already forgotten that when he first became Sektu Lord. He couldn't even pass this level. However over his 7000 plus years in the outer region wars, he had improved greatly. The mid portion of the mountain was just as easy. At the peak, he had a little trouble but with his powerful willpower, the moment he got serious, unleashing the strongest tail whip from the beast god allowed him to succeed. Congratulations your majesty Liu Feng, you've passed the sector lord primal sky mountain. Any human able to pass this is definitely an absolute genius of 10 million eras. Only those able to pass this can be considered the most pinnacle of geniuses in the history of humanity. The three guards revived and were incredibly surprised and respectful towards Liu Feng. Liu Feng stood at the peak gazing at the vast land below. He could see the other two shorter mountains. As he stood there, thoughts filling his mind, the upper echelon of humanity had already gotten the news of him passing the sky mountain. This piece of news was like a tornado, swiftly spreading. Chapter 905, Gamble. Standing at the peak with the winds howling, I'm finally at the peak. Luo Feng gazed, down at the vast land below, thinking, the Sector Lord Primal Sky Mountain, this is a benchmark for countless geniuses in human history. Only after conquering it can one stand amongst these geniuses. I'm currently standing alongside the strongest of geniuses. However, a genius is just a genius, not a true strong warrior yet. One day, I will stand at the peak of the universe. Feeling his fighting spirit rush, he made a vow. Back on Earth when he was still weak he took on this path for not only his family, but also for his dream. This warrior's path, he had dreams and feelings for, it was impossible for anyone to take any path without such feelings. Shwa. He vanished from the peak of Sky Mountain, at the heavenly bridge, on the beautiful center island. The watchman Bevin stood there for trillions of years, guarding the front. Shwa. Luo Feng appeared there, causing Bevin to immediately smile, your majesty Luo Feng. It's been so long since I last saw you. Ha ha, it has been long indeed. I missed you Bevin, hence I came again. Luo Feng joked. Bevin said curiously, you seem very confident, which level are you aiming for this time? To whichever I can, hopefully I get to fight the 21st level. Luo Feng said, 21st level? Bevin was stunned, you at least have to pass the 20th level first to do that. Don't tell me. Liu Feng smiled. Is there anyone at the Nine Universe Bridge? No. Bevin said. Very good. Liu Feng smiled. Su. So, he flew straight towards the Nine Universe Heavenly Bridge. Bevin watched him go, as he muttered to himself, That's too much confidence. He's only trained for so few years, yet he seems confident he can pass the 20th level. There's a male. Ah and not just one. Bevin opened his mail and got a huge shock. What? He passed the Sector Lord Primal Sky Mountain. Bevin stared wide-eyed, turning back to face the Nine Universe Bridge, 
Looks like he'll really get to fight it out with the 21st level guardian. The upper echelon of the virtual universe company were the first to know of such news. Within Primal Chaos City, amidst the Primal Chaos wastelands, the city leader exclaimed as he sat cross-legged, Luo Feng's improvement speed sure is fast, to be able to pass the Sky Mountain. This was no surprise to him, even though Luo Feng had mentioned before that he had the law comprehension to pass the 20th level, but passing the 20th level of the bridge was only one prerequisite to passing the Sky Mountain, it wasn't assured that he would definitely pass it, because during battle, many other factors come into play, such as techniques, amplification, spirit energy, willpower etc. His success will definitely quell all earlier fights and competitions. They all said that Rong Jun had a limitless future, and that my disciple couldn't compete with him. This time, they'll definitely be speechless. The city leader smiled and nodded. Above Blood River Continent, the powerful fortress Danshi Palace that stood over the continent for countless ages. This silhouette seemed to have countless illusions about. He was one that stood high in the virtual universe company, with countless warriors respecting him, the Tanshi Palace leader. He laughed out loudly, resounding throughout the palace, causing all the sector lords and even undyings on the first and second level to be shocked. They didn't know why he was so happy. Good job. He gazed into the vast space, smiling, the huge Jack Stojo and Universe First Bank Punks. They all bet on Rong Jun. Back then I said Luo Feng was the one. Even when he was accepted as the Primal Chaos City leader's disciple, they still didn't admit defeat. They even said that becoming a disciple only changed his status and it didn't mean he was stronger. Back then when Liu Feng passed the Domain Lord Sky Mountain, they didn't care. Thinking that it didn't mean anything. Now they definitely have to admit their defeat. The Sector Lord Primal Sky Mountain represents the strongest of geniuses. This means that his law comprehension is only one step away from the night level. Even though Rong Jun's improvement is extremely fast, compared to Liu Feng it's much slower. The leader was incredibly gleeful. Back then, the upper echelon of humanity, be it the virtual universe company, the huge Jack Stojo, the universe first bank. All of them were debating about Liu Feng and Rong Jun. How high were their perspectives? Even though Boland's initial talent far exceeded theirs, his weakness in character made it so that it would be hard for him to reach high unless he fixed it. Luo Feng and Rong Jun were different, as Luo Feng had his terrifying willpower and mental state. Such a genius. Even if he didn't improve fast, he would constantly grow and finally become an absolute warrior. As for Rong Jun, he was even more special. The upper echelon of humanity were all placing bets on these two beings like the Tenshi Palace leader, or even High Universe Masters. Their bets would naturally be absurd. When Liu Feng returned from Blood River World back then, the leader couldn't help but give him some pointers as well. While the city leader and the Tenshi Palace leader were celebrating, some others were sighing in despair. We actually lost. Rong Jun cannot compare to this genius. Rong Jun is too much of a disappointment. We can't blame him. Liu Feng's improvement is just too crazy. We all knew that he would have high achievements but we'd never expect him to improve this fast. In another million years, there's no doubt Rong Jun would become an Emperor Pinnacle. He even has a certain possibility of becoming a knight. The beings all sighed. The news of Luo Feng passing the Sky Mountain swiftly spread, shocking countless warriors, and making those that were unhappy before submit. How could they not? He had already conquered the highest benchmark of humanity's geniuses. Sector Lord Primal Sky Mountain. Every genius that did so. When they became undying, would become Emperor Limit, even maybe Invincible Emperor. Their chances of becoming a knight were extremely high as well. Virtual Universe Yuxiang Mountain, within a restaurant. A white armored bolan and a tall and sturdy Rong Jun walked together into the booth. There was already someone inside. Wu Ka, ha ha, you've come. Sit, sit. Wu Ka smiled. The two of them sat down. You can all leave. Wu Ka ordered the staff. Yes. The staff left respectfully out the door, leaving only these three behind. You all know about it? Yu Ka helped to pour the wine. Bolan nodded. I thought the distance had been shortened, 
who'd expected to get even further. Rong Jun's voice was heavy, after close to 10,000 years. His energy had grown tremendously, and the overpowering energy emanated from his bones. This energy was one of solitude strength, yet it wasn't detestable. Wu Ka sighed, back then, we were the absolute beginning brothers, you, me and Liu Feng. Liu Feng was the first to enter the primal region, and you too Rong Jun. Your improvement speed gets faster and faster. Back then as a domain lord primal region member, you were number one. With that you rose to sector lord and became a sector lord primal region member. Bolan and Rong Jun were both primal region sector lords. Bolan had changed after his revision back then, he began to display his genius ability as a genius of 10,000 eras, improving at an incredible rate. Right now, he was already a sector lord. As for Rong Jun, he wasn't too fast initially, however as they all grew, his speed grew faster and faster. Later on, he was even faster than Bolan, and his speed kept growing. It was so fast it left many stunned. Back then when Liu Feng had already become the disciple of the primal chaos city leader, only thing was he hadn't displayed any achievements since then. Some had said that the most exceptional genius of this group should be Rong Jun. Even though they were both primal region sector lords, should they have a qualification battle? Bolan would probably be knocked out into the absolute beginning region. Rong Jun however would still be able to stay within the primal region. Too fast, his improvement speed is too fast. Rong Jun shook his head and sighed. Over these 8000 years, I thought the law comprehension would get harder towards the end, and that Liu Feng's speed would definitely slow down. However, to surpass him, there's only one way. Bolan said coldly. Yuka and Rong Jun looked at him immediately. Bolan said coldly, become a knight. Otherwise, we'll always be below him. Unless we become a knight, we will never surpass him. Rong Jun nodded. We'll work hard together. Yuka lifted the wine glasses. My aim is to become an emperor. You two will become knights. We'll do it. Work hard. Work hard. Rong Jun and Bolan lifted their glasses. The three of them toasted. As they discussed, Another piece of news came over. The three of them read their mails. He's past the twentieth level of the heavenly bridge. The three exchanged glances before sighing. It was true, that Liu Feng passing the sky mountain meant that he had the ability to pass the twentieth level of the heavenly bridge. However, to truly get the news, it still made them sigh, because, from the twentieth level to the twenty-first, there was just one step left. Finishing this step meant he could become a knight. Standing at the bridge amidst the darkness, there was only one winding bridge that extended far into the void. Liu Feng continued to fly along this void. He had just passed the 20th level and was heading to the 21st. The guardian of the 21st, he has the comprehension of a knight. I want to see if a sector lord's world energy will be able to fight against a knight's law comprehension. His eyes were filled with fighting spirit, 